I secured some pins. How many of you guys actually use this? What do you think? Hello, good morning. It is currently 10.30 and I am just waiting for my friend to pick me up so that we are going to go cheer on my friend who is currently going to do a 5K run. And then afterwards we're heading to Anime North. So today is going to be all about like anime and cosplays and hopefully grab some really cool um, things from the artist Ali as well. Uh, so it's going to be a fun filled day. So let's go. Five, four, three, two. This is the traffic going into the convention center. Oh, Holy crap. You should have done that like back there. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to Anime North. Oh my god, I'm like, where are we We're again? We're we made it to Anime North and it's so stuffy in here. I was wearing a jean jacket earlier, but it's so hot. I'm so sweaty. Um, and there's a lot of things to walk through. So luckily, walk in, walk in, what time is it now? It's like 2.51. Place closes at 1 a.m. So we should have a lot of time. Right? We should be able to get through everywhere. Ooh. I'm here with Sean, Hello. Joanne, and Nikita. It's Avatar. And the guy from the Lego movie. My goal for today is I want to get cute pins maybe a shirt and maybe something either Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail related. Honkai Star Rail! I want to buy all these pins in this booth because all the colors are so pretty but like where do I put everything? I secured some pins! I got Sailor Mini Moon and this penguin from Sanrio. Pom-pom sticker acquired! Look at these phone buddies! How many of you guys actually use this? Yeah, me neither. Guys, I found a total cool pop socket! This is definitely going on my next phone case because I just changed mine, so this is going to be next. It's an Ayato drinking bubble tea! Oh my god! They're a little cursed, but kind of cute. Yeah. They're all sold out. Oh, I would love one of these. Are they all sold out? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. It's been two hours and we're still in Artist Alley. Like, there's so many booths here. There's so many little zigzags and mazes to get through. And there's like a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I don't know if we're going to get through Artist Alley in the next couple hours. I mean, it closes in five hours or so. Wish us luck. Usually I make fun of child, but you gotta admit that this one is pretty good looking. <laughs> no Taluk. This is the only Taluk skin I will accept. And that's it. Oh, this Kokomi one is so pretty. I think my pin obsession is getting a little too real because I don't even know how many pins I bought, but look how cute this one is too. It's a Game Boy Color in pink. This might be the last one I bought. We'll see. There's so many cute ones here. Can't my wallet is dying. Okay, so you know when you buy like too many things and then people don't give you bags to put things in and you're like, oh, I can't carry everything? Well, solution. You buy a tote bag. It's so cute. Look at this print. I love it. It is three hours later since we have arrived and we finally made it out of Artist Alley after some damage that's been done and then now I think it's going to be another two hours wandering around the Vendor's Alley. So let's see what we can find in here. Presents from the Sky and Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, so many Pokédex with Pokemon cards. What do you 
anything. <laughs> oh, there's some other ones too. Ooh, these ones are like. Probably the booth that I was most excited to see, and it is the Milk and Mocha Fair. What is it called? Milk and Mocha Fair. Uh, Hashis and shirts and stickers. As you can tell, it's a different day. Hello, welcome back. I was going to film everything that I got from Anime North when I got home, but my friends and I ended up going out for ramen, delicious, and then we came back and watched a basketball game, and then by the time they left, it was 12 a.m. So I didn't have enough time to film, but I thought that I would jump back on here and show you everything that I got from Anime North. First up, this is the pass that I got. Um, I only went on the Saturday, so it's the Saturday pass, and then I wrote my name and stuff on here. I think I might have mentioned this on the vlog, but I was very excited to see the Milk and Mocha booth. And so obviously I had to get something from there. So I got this shirt. I actually got this shirt for Sean, but let's be real. I'm probably gonna be stealing this as well. And it's a black t-shirt with a little bear in the corner. So if Sean ever wears this, um, he's gonna have a little me in the pocket here. And along with that, um, I saw this adorable sticker. Look at this, it's Milk and Mocha enjoying like a coffee or a tea, the cozy blanket. So one of the goals that I wanted to accomplish during the con was to get some enamel pins to decorate either like a pin board or to put it on my plain bag that I just got. Uh, and that was accomplished. I got a couple of pins. So I'm gonna start off with this one which is Sailor Mini Moon. Sailor Moon was one of my favorite animes growing up and I always thought Chibiusa or Sailor Mini Moon was super, super cute. So I had to get this. And then I saw this adorable penguin pin, which I think someone in my chat told me that his name is Tuxedo Sam. So we got Tuxedo Sam holding some ice cream. The first handheld console I ever got to play Pokemon Gold on, which is my all-time favorite Pokemon game, was the Game Boy Color. So when I saw this pin, I'm like, yo, this is my aesthetics, the Game Boy Color. Got this, immediately, sold. And the last pin that I got um, is this adorable little Bu Tao, a little uh, ode to Genshin Impact. Even though I don't have Bu Tao, I thought that this Bu Tao pin was too adorable to pass up. So here it is. If you've been following me on my Genshin Impact journey, you know that Klee, baby Klee is my favorite character of all time. And so when I saw this Dodoko pop socket, I immediately bought it. If you don't have a pop socket on your phone, what are you doing? It is the best thing to put on your phone, especially now that phones are getting a lot bigger. It's so much harder to hold. So having a pop socket on the back of it to stabilize it and act as a phone stand is great. And why not make it cute too? Along the same theme as Genshin Impact, my friend bought this Primo Gem keychain. And actually at first I didn't want to get one, but the shop owner was like, hey, if you buy two, you'll actually get a little bit of a discount. So I gave in and I got one for myself too. So here is this shiny little Primo Gem. I think I'm gonna add this to my microphone or at least put it off to the side. So whenever we do uh, wishing on stream for banners, we're gonna whip out the power of the Primo Gem gods and hopefully bring home the character that we want. AKA not the Luke. So when I got laid off from my job, one of the perks, I guess if you can call it a perk, is that they allowed us to keep our laptops. And so on my last day, I sat with IT and I like remotely wiped my laptop. And then now I have kind of a brand new MacBook that I don't want to associate with my previous job. Too much trauma, too much PTSD. So what I wanted to get from the con is a bunch of stickers to decorate the front. Uh, stickers that would probably bring me joy, make me happy to look at. And here are the couple ones that I got. Starting off with this 
something. I'm pretty sure this is from an anime that I used to read in the past. Maybe not an anime, a manga. And I can't exactly remember what uh, character this is. So if you know who this is or what this is, please let me know. <laughs> My chat called it a knockoff Pikachu or like a budget Digimon. I don't know. So if you know what this is, please let me know. Honkai Star Rail has been a game that I've been obsessed with over the past month and so I had to get a little pom-pom, this little pom-pom sticker. And my favorite character to use in Super Smash is Kirby, so obviously had to get a Kirby sticker. This kind of reminds me of what I look like after lunch, after like a really big lunch. And all you want to do is just take a nap, so Kirby is me. And then finally, one of my favorite foods of all time that I cannot pass off if it's on the menu is poutine. So, or poutine, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So here is a little octopus poutine. A little cute octopus poutine. French fries smothered in gravy with cheese curds. Delicious. So I wasn't intentionally looking for this thing, but it popped up and I'm like, this is too cute to pass off. It's a Shiba phone buddy. She made it all herself. It actually comes apart like this. You place it on your desk and then you put your phone on here as a stand. Ta -da! Phone is not on it. It's an adorable little Shiba. And finally, the last thing that I got is actually not for myself. It's for Sean. And when I saw this, I was like, that's amazing. And my friends convinced me to get it for him. So it's this life size or I guess face size Charizard card, the holographic one. First edition. And the best part of it is, is that she made a Charizard out of resin. And it looks like he's coming out of the car, like coming out alive. So I thought this was amazing, fantastic. And on the back, it even has the Pokemon card on it, like the actual Pokemon logo. So obviously I had to get this. And I think that wraps up everything that I got from Anime North. This is Future Winnie coming in with an edit. And I forgot one thing that I bought at Anime North that I didn't include, which is this canvas bag or tote bag. Uh, and it's this beautiful, aesthetically blue purple pink um background anime background i'm already using it I forgot it in the hall sorry it was my first time going so i was very very surprised with everything that was there i only got the saturday pass but i think if i were to go again next year i might get the weekend one because there were so many things that we didn't even get to see there was apparently disney karaoke happening at a another hotel nearby there was workshops there was panels um and i didn't even get to go outside and take a picture with like, all the amazing cosplayers because we were so strapped on time trying to make our way through all the vendor alley or the artist alley so next year probably um spending a lot more time throughout the days exploring the rest of the con but I had a really great time and that is the end of my anime north haul and vlog so if you enjoyed it please um like this video uh, what do, what do youtuber people say uh like this video please subscribe for future video content uh, I'm going to be vlogging hopefully a lot more so stay tuned for some more videos otherwise I'll probably catch you on twitch bye everyone